Hi everyone, my name is Leslie Oman from HungryHeffyCrafts.com and um, I want to show you today how to make a pop-up pram card as you can see here. Now as this is an easel type card, I'm going to start with um, a card blank, a square card blank and on one of the sides I'm going to fold the edge in to meet the centre so you get this um, tent like uh, fold. I've taken some pattern paper here that I want to use to, to design the base of my card and I've actually run it through my sewing machine so I've got some stitching along the edges and I'm going to mat this onto some yellow cardstock which is just slightly smaller than the base of the card. So let's stick this down here like this and when your pram um, stands up you'll be able to see that. Um, as a focal element of the card. So let's make the pram itself and I'm going to actually use another square card blank and I'm going to take a CD and use this as a template for the pram. So I'm just going to trace around the outside to get that circle, that perfect circle. And now I'm going to use a roller adhesive to um, put some glue on the inside of the card and fold it over. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want a chipboard type feel to the card, to the pram, um, so it stands up um, nice and sturdy. So this gives it two layers of um, card. So now I've cut out my circle, I'm going to design it and I want to use this six by six cover a card stamp. And using some embossing ink, I'm going to put the circle on top cover it with some copy paper and then just use the brayer to roll over the top. This makes sure I get a nice even coverage and it's much easier because it makes sure that your um, the circle doesn't move on the stamp. So let's take this off and what I'm going to do is use some embossing powder now just to emboss those um, pinstripe lines on there. So making sure I've got some copy paper underneath the uh, the circular piece of card, I'm covering it in my blue embossing powder and shaking off the excess and all the rest of the blue powder which is left on my copy paper can go back into the pot. Very quickly embossing that with a heat gun and moving on to the next step. So I've taken a piece of copier paper which is, um, I've cut into a square, the same width as the diameter of the circle and by folding it in half twice I can use that as a template to cut out a perfect right angle and um, a perfect quarter of the circle. Now I want to add a nice scallop trim to the pram so I'm going to use a um, scalloped rectangle nestability die and I'm running this through the the cuttle bug with some yellow cardstock and um, using this scrap piece of paper, this scrap quadrant of the circle um, as a template, I'll be able to make sure that I can measure a perfect scallop, uh, um, a perfect trim for the pram. So let's turn this over and using my pencil, just trace around the, um, the piece of card, the quadrant like this and then we'll cut this out. Now I'm just using a craft um, knife and a ruler but you can use some scissors if you prefer to use scissors and the reason I used the scallop rectangle um, instead of scallop scissors is because I wanted that perfect circle at the, um, at the corner. So let's trim this down and this will be stuck down onto my pram like this. Now let's move along to the wheels. I'm using some chipboard pieces and um, I'm going to cover the outside rim to make it look like a wheel. So I'm just using some, re some uh, permanent adhesive um, to stick that down and I'm going to use a craft knife to cut the outside and the inside away. So there we have my covered piece of chipboard 
and because it's a bit jaggedy I'm going to use my sanding block to sand that down. So I'm taking my solid circle I'm popping that right back in the middle again that's the way um, I want my wheels to be and then what I'll do is I'll put a little design on the inside of each of the wheels like here. So let's use my nest abilities again. I've got a scallop circle, which I'm going to cut out in yellow, and then a plain circle, which is slightly smaller, in the blue colour. And I'm going to layer these up onto my wheels. Now I don't want it to be plain, I want to actually stamp an image into each of the, my blue circles. So I'm sticking um, down my circles with some repositionable adhesive. And this will make sure that it doesn't move because they're quite small pieces. I'm going to use my stamp on my jig here and um, I really enjoy using my stamp on my jig whenever you're stamping into small items like these little circles. You put the plasma into the corner of the stamp on my jig and then quite simply line up the corner of your acrylic block and uh, stamp it onto the plasma like this. Then what you can do is take the plasma, line it up onto um, your image where you want it to be exactly. Take the corner of the stamp and jig, put it into place, and then ink up your stamp again. And by holding the stamp and jig in place, you can remove the plasma and just repeat, put the corner of the acrylic block into the corner of the stamp and jig and press down. And it will be exactly where it was on the plasma. And if you don't stamp it all the first time, you can go straight back and stamp over the top of it and it will just be perfect. So now let's assemble the card. I've put some blue polka dot cardstock on the front of it and I've stuck down my pram. Now make sure that you only put sticky tape on the bottom half of the pram, not the hood of the pram and um, that will make sure that your, your pram's able to pop up once you um, push it back like this. So there you have it, that's your pop-up pram card. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit me at HungryHeavyCrafts.com